What do you mean you're leaving? Me and a couple other villagers are going to run. We're going to leave in a couple of days. Are you insane, Liam? Not at all. If anything, I've never felt more like I'm making the best decision of my life. You're leaving this place that you and your brother built? Why? One, um, I'm not really looking forward to dying. And two, I think it's just best for everyone here. You're only telling me because you want me to come with you. Yes. You can bring the kid, too. I don't want you to die here, Simon. Come with me. We can escape. We can build another village. Well, Liam, it's not that easy. Of course it won't be easy. I know it won't be. But I know we can do it. So who's going to take your place? The people down there, every couple of hours, have been chanting his name. So, in the morning, I'm going to get Reese over here and I'm going to hand him over my leadership. Well, that's surprising. I know the likelihood of him running is very slim, but I'm hoping he can convince everyone else to run, flee, get out of here. I'm going to try and make a convincing argument tomorrow. So when will you be leaving? A couple of days. I want to give time for everyone to sort out their affairs. Say goodbye to their friends. Convince people. Spread the word. And then once everyone's ready, we'll leave. Probably in the middle of the night. Under the cover of darkness. Try and make a couple, maybe 20 miles, before we take a stop again. I'm not coming with you. I'll change your mind. Stop. I gotta keep packing. Get some sleep. You should too. I'll talk to you later, son. Yeah, Peter, I know, I know, I'm coming. Oh, Reese, do you, uh, do you want to come in? Yeah. So do you want, like, a drink or something? No, I've got a meeting with Liam. It's gonna have to be quick. Okay, I'm listening. I thought about it a lot. I talked to Simon about it. Simon pleaded your case. Told me to give you the benefit of the doubt. And even if I could do that, I could never forgive you. And I never will forgive you. Luke, you betrayed my trust. Not only that, but you betrayed our friendship. Our brotherhood. I can't trust you anymore. I tried to be empathetic. I tried to put myself in your shoes. And every single time I do. I just, I can't understand. What you were doing. I can't wrap my head around it. So I'm not trying anymore. I get it. 
No, no, nothing I say is going to change your mind, so. So I guess it's just goodbye. Goodbye, Luke. Oh, Christ. That's way too many to take out. We are in for one hell of a ride. We need to get back to the village. Now. We have a situation. Peter and Carlos this morning, south of the village, they found a herd. A couple hundred large. We can take out 50, maybe even 100 walkers, but a couple hundred? It's a lot. There's no way we can stop it from getting here. How big do you think it is? Maybe Travis had something to do with this. A herd that big usually doesn't form naturally. Maybe. But it doesn't matter. I've... What is that plan? Me? And as of now, ten of the villagers, we're gonna run. We're gonna leave. Leave this place behind and look for a new home. God, Liam, you're so stupid. You'd be leaving everyone here up to grabs. We need everyone if we're gonna beat this. No. They need you. Listen. I'm gonna put you in charge, Reese. Of the village. I'm gonna ask you to leave these people. Because right now, they're not gonna listen to me. But maybe they'll listen to you. Why are you doing this? I want you to convince them to come with us. Flee with us. Run. Staying and fighting is just going to lead to death. We run. We can keep as many people as possible alive. If we stay, the likelihood that we will beat this herd and beat Travis, Brock, and Mark are very slim. I know, but at least now, under my leadership, we'll be stronger. I'll teach these people how to fight, how to survive, and then we'll add some precautions to the walls. We'll be ready. I'm begging you, tell them to flee. This place. It has potential to start a new civilization, a new place of refuge. I'm not just going to throw that away. I'll kill Dr. Travis. I'll kill Brock. I'll kill Mark. And I will beat this herd. I know I can. For the well-being of everyone in the village, I hope you're right. Thank you, Leo. Hey! Everyone! Everyone! Quiet down! Thank you. Listen, I know you're scared. I know you're angry. You fear for your life and your friends' lives and your family's lives. I get it. I've been there. And I understand what it takes to get out of it. Now, I'm not going to stand before you on a podium thinking I'm some sort of god compared to you. Because I'm not. All we want is to survive. And the only way we can do that is if we stay and fight. Now, Liam has handed leadership over to me. I will be leading this group not only to victory, but to survival. All you have to do is do your part. So get back to work. 
Blacksmiths. Create more bullets. Keep making armor. We're gonna need it. We're gonna need food. Medicine. Keep working. I'll be teaching you how to fight. How to survive. So do it. I'm not your leader. I'm just the guy that's gonna lead you to survival. For the village. Damn it! I'm trying to for days to get into that frequency. Come on. Brock, prepare for my arrival. Yes, sir. I did it. I'm in the frequency. You! Alert Liam. Yes, sir. I know how to track that son of a bitch. You hit me right. 